One of the real big benefits for us to be able to pull this off was we were far into the development of the Pan America at that time, which is a natural ice adventure touring bike that had the suspension travel that we were looking for. Styling in the design studio came up with this awesome 2D image of how to transform our production level bike into kind of this adventure touring EV motorcycle. We all got super excited to go try to do this, but we had a very short amount of time. We, we pulled in a very small team, a team we knew would be excited about doing it. They worked nights, weekends, they were down in the lab to create parts. They did it all in their personal time. From the time where I got to see what we were attempting to do to the point at which we had to ship it out to California for Ewan and Charlie to take it for its test ride was about four weeks. It was pretty crazy. To pass Charlie and Ewan's test, engineering created a prototype. It wasn't quite in, in the state that you see behind me, but the bones were there. This was the first time that they were able to see and ride a stock live wire versus this enhanced live wire. When we finally saw the first one that rolled up the lorry, it looked like this really cool adventure bike. You know, there was a one live wire and one long way up live wire, the sort of mock-up prototype of our adventure bike. You ride that all day, you could all day long. Yeah. And that first ride, when it came out of the trailer, we took it around the canyon roads by um, Malibu. The bars are in a good position, the pegs are in quite good position. They really are great, aren't they, Charlie? By the time we got to the top of the hill, we decided this is the bike for us. We just got off, we'd ridden it for about 10 minutes, we got off and went, oh, this is it, let's do this, let's do this. You know, the first thing when you, when you ride the electric bikes, you, you know, the first thing you realize is there isn't this big noise up from, from the engine. And you get that real feeling coming off the road because you haven't got the engine and the vibration and all that kind of stuff. We rode for an entire day with them, trying to teach them how to ride and dial in and optimize range. It was really exciting to ride. You know, we were, we were giggling away, you know, we were whooping away in our helmets. Then we actually got to test the bikes charging on the DC fast charge right outside of Malibu. How many miles we've done? Uh, 73 miles. 73 miles we've done, 40% left. So that's well over 100 miles yeah. range. <laughs> awesome. First stop they made, they took off their helmets and they were saying, oh my gosh, it performs. I can't believe the power, the handling. If you guys can pull this off, if you can meet these bikes to this timing, and if you can meet this kind of range, Jim, uh, you guys got a deal and start working on it.